Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the discovery, Esther's Tax Shop. Exchange produce for chocobo gear at Esther's Shop. Okay, so let's head back to her. We've got the three Silcus greens from the uh, extra events that we did around uh, the Coral Prison, and now we can get her chocobo gear. Which will apparently help us in the racing. Alright, hello, Esther. Hey, nice find, Merc. Alright, let's trade with her. She has the Gi headdress. Headgear based on ancient gi designs. We'll pick that up for one of our Silcus Greens. We have a gi cloak, a chest piece based on ancient gi designs. And the gi leg wraps, leg protection based on ancient gi designs. Well, that's all I got. Now go and kick the tar out of those other jockeys. Alrighty, and that completes our discovery. So, we bought it. We may as well use it. Let's go to the Choco Boutique. And let's see. We've got our Gi headdress. Looking a bit demonic. Uh, let's see. We can check out the color sets on that. I like the default. Then we've got our Gi cloak. I like it. Color sets on that. I kind of like the red, but I think I'll stick with the default on this as well. And then we have our Gi leg wraps. Color sets on that. The red's kind of nice once again, but I still like the default with the blue and the red. So we'll stick with that. All right, Pico looks ready to do battle. Look at that. Eco's as ready as he'll ever be. If you can't win, you got no one to blame but yourself. I mean, he was famished just a little while ago. I feel like I, there might be some blame to go around beyond me, but okay. Pico's as ready as he'll ever be. If you can't win, you got no one to blame but yourself. Alrighty, well, I know that we have at least some SP available because we got some manuals. So let's head over to Magnata Books and spin that. I can't remember who we got the SP for. Welcome to my humble establishment. Please peruse the selection. Oh, well, never mind. I thought we had gotten another manual, but maybe I had that person already at zero. Okay, well, uh, well, I suppose we could take a look at what Cloud Barrett, Tifa, and Aerith could potentially get, but. I don't know if there's any 10 point things that we want. Cloud could get MP. Oh, he can get Limit Gauge Stagger. Increases the Limit Gauge charge rate by 5% upon staggering an enemy. That's decent. And then there's Stagger Damage up. I guess we could get Limit Gauge Stagger. Let's go ahead and do that. And I guess we could have got Melee Blade as well, but I'm not a huge fan of the synergy skills thus far. Uh, Barrett could get overload, overcharge. I don't like that too much. Weapon ability damage up would be 15 SP. He could get friendly fire synergy skill. That one's 15 SP. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get anything good for Barrett. What about Tifa? Tifa could get max MP up. Or concentration grants a 50% chance of entering battle with unbridled strength active. Oh, oh, I can get two of those. Yes, please. I'm pretty sure I have another one. Where was that? I had one of those already. At least I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Well, now I'm confused. I thought I had this, but apparently I didn't. But I want this. So yeah, having a. Uh, Having her enter with unbridled strength is pretty awesome because that just saves you an ATB bar. 
So there we go. And Aerith's got 10 as well. Should get elemental damage up, maybe. Aerith's another one I'm not super excited about a lot of her stuff. What's this? Full power magic. Increases damage dealt by MP consuming attacks by 10% when at max MP. It's kind of interesting, I guess. I guess we'll just get the generic increase all of her elemental damage by 3%. We'll go with that. Oh, and that was only 5. That's not bad. Alright, and then Yuffie and Red don't have enough. Alright, cool. Got some interesting what do you upgrades. Think of my store? Be honest. It's the best you've ever seen, right? Don't worry, it's so good. Not a problem. <laughs> Alright, let's see if there's anybody new over here. Apparently not. Alright, one other thing that we should do. I haven't been paying enough attention to it recently. Is just making sure we've got our materia in a good state. we got so much materia, it's hard to keep track of. But let's make sure that we're happy with our setup. Even though a lot of our allies are imprisoned at the moment, we plan to get them out. So, I guess we can start with Cloud, although I'm pretty sure I'm happy with Cloud's. He's got Assess, Steadfast Block. Oh, that is maxed, though. That is maxed out. Obviously good if we're doing a tough fight, but in general, we probably want to level another one. So, yeah, maybe uh, we'll swap this out for the lesser one. We'll just keep that available when we need it. Start leveling this. All right, and then, let's see. He's still got the healing. That's probably fine. In general, he shouldn't need healing, except for when he's by himself. But we'll keep it for now. And then he's got the precision defense. It's good. Prayers up to rank three. It's actually getting fairly close to rank four. That's that's great. First strike material is getting close to, to maxed out as well. That's great. And ATP stagger making its way as well. So we'll keep Cloud the way he is, minus that one change. Barret's got Barrier, Chakra, that's getting close to max, Binding, Fortification, Revival, Time, and Elemental. So, yeah, we kind of just have Barret. Oh, actually, um, before we look at this Materia, I should do some item transmutation because I could probably get some better gear with more Materia slots. Or at least better gear. And possibly with new linked Materia slots. But, yeah, Barret's just kind of a dumping ground for Materia leveling right now. So, I guess that all makes sense. Uh, but yeah, let me look at that item transmuter stuff, because we haven't done that in a while, and I'm sure we can make new stuff. Like, we can make a gold needle. That's three gold dust, three laurels, five pearl ginger roots, which finally we have a use for those, and a planet's venison. Let's do it. And that uh, cures petrification, both gradual and instantaneous. Oh, I should have... I don't remember if I had one during the fight with the bird. I could have actually... Use that on Tifa. I didn't even think about that. I just assumed she was out. Alright, so we made that. And let's see. We can make a Fortress Bracer. That is uh, 20 defense and 20 magic defense. Only two material slots, but they are linked. It's grade 5. A stout standard issue bracer worn by Shinra Riot Troopers. I don't know if we're going to use this, but we may as well do it just to get the craftsmanship experience. So that's uh, 30 zinc. And five planets venison will do that. Oh, and we did level up to nine. So we can now transmute a mega potion, a crucible bracer, a witch's armlet. And it looks like that's it. So let's go back to our items. Mega potion we could do if we had oregano and planet splendor, which we do not. All right, what about this beguiling armlet? That's four material slots. I like to look at that. That's 15 defense and 15 magic defense. Grade 5, a curious armlet said to have been the treasured keepsake of a fairy tale witch. Uh, so that's 20 ancient bark. We have 29. 10 sycamore wood. And uh, 5 planets venison. Let's go ahead and make one of these. There we go. It's another 70 experience. And we're definitely going to use that with 4 materia slots. All right, then upgrades. Uh, surprisingly, none available. That is surprising. All right, uh, we can make some supernatural wrist guards. That's the 10% uh, strength ones. That's currently what Cloud's got. It's not bad. 
Uh, wristbands that push the wearer's muscles to their absolute limits. That would be 10 exquisite beast hides and 5 zinc. Not cheap, but we'll go ahead and do it. That's a lot of craftsmanship experience, too. Then we can make a survival vest. Uh, that's to increase vitality by 10%. An industrial grade bulletproof vest issued to only the most elite of Shinra forces. That's 10 zinc and 5 exquisite beast hides. So we're running low on those supplies, but let's go ahead and make this. Then there's platinum earrings, which we have some, actually. I can't... Or no, I think we just saw them in a shop. But they're extravagant earrings embedded with materia fragments. That's 10 zinc and 1 emerald. That's not bad at all. Definitely make that. And our craftsmanship level goes up again. Now we can make a mist mega potion and a bottle of adrenaline. I assume I don't have the materials for that stuff. I do not. All right. So we can also make a time-worn talisman. A talisman said to have once been in daily use among the ancients. That's increased spirit by 10%. That's 10 zinc and 5 amethyst, which we also can do easily. Okay. Don't have the stuff for uh, camaraderie earrings. We actually just need a Quetzalcoatl talon. So at some point, we'll have to fight another Quetzalcoatl or go back to that one uh, boss fight that we did and maybe I could do it again. But yeah, we need a talent for that. Okay, uh, let's see, what else? Accessory upgrades, nothing here. And key items, nothing there. All right, cool. So we at least got that one bracer. We can decide who that's gonna go to. Cloud currently has enhanced sailor's bracer. Who's got, anybody got two materia slots? No, everyone's got at least three. So maybe Cloud could take this. His is currently 18 and 18. So yeah, that's definitely better. Well, I guess it's actually worse in terms of defense and magic defense, but not much. And we get an extra materia slot. So maybe we go with that. Yeah, let's do it. He can take the uh, beguiling, or beguiling am armlet. So there we go. And let's see, what are we gonna throw in this extra slot? We've got healing. We probably should level a third one at some point because it's low. Uh, fire, we could potentially put on cloud. There's ice, there's lightning. Wind, poison. Empowerment, maybe. Oh, we could level, we could give him Chakra. We probably should level another one of those. Not sure how much we'd use it though. We should probably put on somebody that would use it since Cloud does Prey often. Uh, oh, he's not using the HP up. I guess we should give him that. We definitely want to be leveling up three HP ups. So we'll just give him that, that'll work. Okay, we saw Barret's Materia, we're good there. Tifa, oof. Those dragon claws. We got to get this uh, ability unlocked as quickly as possible so we can go back to something with more materia slots. Like. Wow, they're not even that good. Yeah, we got to get this ability right away. And then we'll just go back to like the Kaiser Knuckles because those are like just a little less magic. Magic attack for two materia slots, both that are linked. Those Kaiser Knuckles are great. So yeah, we got to get back. To those ASAP uh, but let's see she's got warding materia empowerment AP up linked with the HP up which is getting close to rank 3 and MP up I guess that's fine Eris got a whole bunch of materia slots lightning and wind definitely want her with that MP up fire and ice HP absorption on the fire and ice cleansings getting close to max we could drop that when it does healings getting close to max I'll probably just give her the lesser heal after that Magic efficiency, those are oh those are linked, so we heal for less MP. Item master, I don't, make, I don't know if we should probably drop that on somebody else. She doesn't gain ATB very well, and then she's got enemy skill, which is good. Let's see, let's give her something else. Item master is not a good one for her. Maybe we'll do, uh, we'll take poison from red and then red can take the item master. Because red gains ATB pretty well. Plus he just got speed 
So that's that should work. Let's see, where's the hiding? I had a master, there we go. Alright, and I think the rest of hers is good. Yeah. If we ever do need to do more damage though, enemy skill on Tifa is kind of the way to go. So you can get that that bravery buff right before going into a stagger. In fact, since Aerith doesn't need the health anymore, let's actually give that to her. We'll, we'll just give Aerith empowerment, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so Aerith gets empowerment. More spells for her. She will drop some health from this, but she should be fine. And if we need more health, we can always switch it later. So, she gets empowerment. Tifa gets enemy skill. Because Tifa's damage is through the roof. Okay. All that looks good to me. Then we have Red. He's got MP up. HP up. Rank 2. Yeah, that's good. Uh, item Economizer. Which is... Yeah, I guess item economizer and item master together is a good combo, so that, that works. Uh, spirit up, which is taking forever to level up. Uh, vitality up. He's got a warding that we're just leveling. It's not, well, I guess it is linked, but it's not doing anything with that link. And item master. So yeah, a lot of our characters just sort of leveling material right now, but that's fine. Uh, Yuffie, do we want to stay with the twin viper? That might not be the best choice, actually. 60 physical attack, 44, but only two materia slots. We could go back to the four point. Sure, you can get two more materia slots, and we'd only lose eight physical attack. That seems worth it. Yeah, let's go back to the four point. Sure, you can. All right, so she's got gravity, precision, defense. And she could take on more. We could give her a heal. We could give her a chakra. Let's give her a chakra. I think it'd be good to have that on her. Auto weapon ability materia. Maybe we should level this. It wouldn't take long. We could take something from Barrett. I want him to use overcharge. Or Tifa. Actually, let's give Tifa the auto thing. We'll have her uh, just drop her warding. Yuffie can level that for us. So Tifa gets the auto weapon thing. There we go. And that won't take long to max out. Yuffie gets the level awarding. There we go. She's got Innervation. Which we're just leveling this to have it when we need it. And it won't take much longer to, to max that out. And then we can swap it out for something else. Uh, ATB boost, sure, and win. That seems fine. Let's pick her weapon skills. We'll go, uh, huh, applies the bravery status effect after successfully stealing. That's kind of interesting. Buff yourself and steal at the same time, maybe? But for now, let's give her HP and uh, weapon ability damage plus 5%. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. We got everybody with the right gear and different material that we're trying to level up and there's no material that I really want to level up that's not currently equipped. So we should be in good shape. Alrighty. So with all that set, we are gonna wrap things up right here. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.